stated it, but this is a strong move. 41.5 kilometers, Pierre Roland at the front. He's making the little move now, I think just testing the waters of Robon Bardet in second position. This is a dangerous move as Robon Bardet says, look, we've got the gap, I'm off if I can. But Bardet also now can full song to answer this, and Pierre Roland. A really good descent to put them onto the last climb, which is only short, although very dangerous on the descent. Roman Bardet, the best placed French rider in the race, over the top of the Col de Glandon. Well, go to the photo, I'm not sure, but I think it was Roman Bardet really pushed on on this descent. But with the leader, Roman Bardet, first up, and he's first on the way down just now. And he is pushing on, he's looking for a French stage victory, and there's only been one so far, and it was by a teammate of his. Roman Bardet giving the French every reason to cheer in the Alps today. He's a very entertaining young rider. He's only 20. This is the man now who has laid down the foundations, but can he build the house as he goes down the Col de Glandon? Roman Bardet. Wow, the way he went round that corner, Phil, that was sheer confidence, and that shows that he knows that how the corner was going to unfold in front of him. Roman Bardet, the hope of France, he was sixth overall in the Tour de France last year, is off in pursuit of victory. seconds at one kilometer to the summit that might be enough for this man it's an uphill finish to the line though in saint jean de morienne he's over the top now he took the gears and take the risk and the win will be his he's 241 ahead of the yellow but only 42 seconds ahead of the chasers 10 kilometers to go gets his first stage win in the Tour de France and this is a big moment he's going to enjoy every minute.